Hello everyone, and welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry. Today, we'll look into one of those mechanics um, that uh, people have been asking me about, but that are, you know, generally not spending an awful lot of thought on. So if you might have noticed that in my recordings, unless I'm doing a Max series video, I generally use the stock or the standard repair kit and uh, damage control kit. Because these cost silver, and silver is pretty much free in the game. Uh, it is really abundant if you're using if you're using uh, the boosters. There, you, you should not generally have an awful lot of problems with with restocking those. There are also uh, advanced or premium repair kits and damage control kits, and these cost gold. So I generally don't use them because not everybody has or wants to spend gold on these things. But um, I was asking the question myself: the question is it worth it? So what is actually the impact of these things? Let's, let's take a look at what the difference is on, on paper. So the, rent, the regular repair kit restores 14.3% of your maximum HP. So everything after the consumables, like the uh, preventive maintenance consumable, for example, increases your max HP in game. So that, uh, that should be taken into account here. Uh, and it takes 10 seconds to do so, and it takes 90 seconds for it to go on cooldown. The, Advanced Repair Kit restores 16.7%, so more HP, and it has a shorter cooldown of 75 seconds, so 15 seconds less cooldown. There are some Captain skills that can reduce the cooldown potentially even further. The Damage Control Kit, uh, well, controls damage, so fires, floods, module damage, any of these things. And uh, it gives you immunity for fire and flooding for 10 seconds. These 10 seconds are quite important, for example, if you're playing in a carrier or against a carrier, because uh, more skilled carrier players are generally going to wait for 10 seconds before they hit you again, trying to ca cause, for example, a perma flood. The Advanced Damage Control Kit, uh, once again, has a faster cooldown by 10 seconds and uh, gives you a 15 second window of immunity where you cannot be set on fire or flooded by a carrier. So, and these things cost 15 gold each. And there's a handy auto resupply uh, little tick. So you don't even have to remember that uh, that you can, you know, that, that your gold gets automatically deducted after every battle <laughs> until it's empty. <laughs> uh, nifty little thing. So we're going to do two things. First thing, we can test if this actually works. Because uh, on the repair kits, because I want to see if these percentages are accurate, and uh, then we are going to have a quick look in on, on, onto some math and see if it's worth it or not. So let's do that. So I've set up a little test and uh, used the trusty South Carolina test ship and done some damage to it, and uh, then I've been using the repair kit both the standard repair kit and the premium repair kit in order to see what uh, what what the what the outcome was so uh, with the regular repair kit we did indeed get a 14.26% uh, of our maximum hit points back with the premium repair kit we got 16.69% of our maximum hit points back so uh, taking taking rounding errors into account that is pretty much accurate so that means, though, that the difference between the premium and the standard repair kit, if you take three repairs into account, because most of uh, I'm, I'm just going with three, because most of the ships have three uh, have three heals in game, uh, you get seven point two eight percent of your maximum HP extra over the course of a battle. What does that mean? So. Uh, let's look at that in a in a graph. Pre pre presuming this is a you know this is a fixed factor and it is, then um, on like I've I've plotted it out from twenty thousand maximum hit points to sixty thousand maximum hit points. So for uh, you start at round about fifteen hundred hit points extra for twenty thousand for three heals right over the course of a battle we're talking here up to a maximum of uh, four thousand seven hundred for a sixty five thousand hit points and I don't think there's there are many ships like some of the tankier tier tens have about have around about that that amount of hit points. So uh, what is it what is me what does it mean that it gives us? So for a first of all it means that for a ship that has a relatively low hit point pool to begin with, you're not getting an awful lot 
of extra hit points. So let's say you're sailing a, a destroyer or a light cruiser and you get what 1500, 1500 hit points back over the course of uh, of the whole battle. So about 500 hit points extra from the premium heal over the, the regular ones. That is one shell of, an, of an, a 150 millimeter armor piercing shell on a destroyer that you get extra back. Uh, and even even if you look at battleships, uh, that like high tier battleships, you you get what two full battle, two full pens or or a citadel extra in terms of hit points from a um, from from a from a battleship shell that that you get. So what does it cost us then? Well, I've taken the price of gold uh, because these things cost fifteen gold. So if you use three per per battle that is 45 gold per battle. Now, I'm assuming that you're using all three. Of course, you don't necessarily have to, but let's assume you use all three, just as a worst case scenario. Then, uh, given the best possible price of gold, you would spend round about uh, 20, 21 Australian cents uh, per per game on these three premium heals. And what, what that gives you is an additional, depending on your initial hit point pool size, um, somewhere between 1500 and 4500 HP that you can heal up. So, um, of course, it is everybody's own decision, but just keep that in mind that it's an Australian dollar every five games, whatever that is in your, regu in your, regu in your regional currency, that you would pay extra for having these hit points, it, presuming you're using all three. So if you're, you, can, you can now extrapolate relatively quickly how much that is going to cost you going down the road if you're going to be using those. Um, is it worth it? That is, of course, everybody's own decision. I pers On my personal account, sometimes I'd start using them on tier 10, but I don't buy them. So you, you get these, you, you get a certain amount for free uh, from crates and uh, free crates. I don't, don't even know if it's free crates or from uh, blitz passes, uh, missions, all kinds of things. So these tend to accumulate. But I personally don't spend gold on these just because I feel like throwing an extra 20 cents into the slot machine <laughs> per game in order to in order to get in order to to be at best ta uh, able to tank two more hits on a battleship isn't really worth it over the course of a battle for me. But um, it, it obviously gives you an edge, and we haven't even talked about the shorter cooldown, right? Because that obviously means that you are able to use it again and you will be able to use to play more aggressively so for certain ships it, it absolutely makes sense and um, uh, if you've got free ones why not use them just be careful with the auto resupply and because uh, that'll start burning into your gold reserves once you have uh, once you have these sorted so uh, once you're running out so it's everybody's decision I personally don't necessarily think it's worth it in random games unless you're playing extremely competitive and maybe on high tiers. And I probably also wouldn't use it in low HP ships to begin with, only in in ships where the percentage makes a, a bigger difference, in ships where you are expecting to be tanking anyway and where it makes a bigger difference in terms of uh, survivability. So, yeah, that's uh, regular heals and premium heals. And that's it for today. Thanks, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.